are continuing to take a deeper look into the projects listed on the City of Lawton's proposed 2040 Capital Improvement Plan. 7 News reporter Seth Morsicano is here in studio with the city's plan for ADA compliance and traffic control. Seth? Haley, if passed, the city plans on spending millions of dollars to improve getting around town for everyone. How quickly and efficiently you can get around town are a big factor in quality of life, according to officials. With the proposed 2040 CIP extension, a few items are looking to improve just that. ADA coordinator Mike Jones said with how people are aging these days, staying healthy is important. $3 million will be designated to sidewalk improvements and maintenance if passed. And with every project the city works on it, Jones says it's got to be ADA compliant. Walking is a huge part of staying healthy, something that's easily done. Sidewalks are expensive up front, but if it lasts 40 years, 50 years, you've, you've accommodated a lot of people over the course of that time, and it's been money well spent. It's one of those things that I've, I've seen visually. If you build it, people get out and use them. Along with the sidewalks, $1 million is set to go towards ensuring that compliance throughout the city. Around 13,000 people are living in Comanche County with some form of disability, according to Jones, and areas he wants to focus on are city parks and downtown Lawton. While to some it might seem like small changes, Jones said they make a big difference. Somebody with arthritis may have trouble just kind of making that six or eight inch step up onto the curb. You know, a ramp is, is a really good example of what we refer to as universal design. It helps out. It benefits everybody. But if you drive more than you walk, another portion of CIP is expected to be used on the city's traffic system. They would see a, a reduced wait time at each traffic signal. Uh, there's going to be less congestion. There's going to be an increase in capacity for each one of those intersections, which, you know, really provides lower emissions for vehicles, better fuel savings, and just uh, a, a big savings in time. With just under 90 traffic signals ranging from 30 to 50 years old, Public Works Director Larry Wolcott said the city's traffic system is overdue for an upgrade. The $10 million is, is, is an amount that would get us, you know, to spend an average of just over $100,000 for each intersection across the city. If you looked at our repair and maintenance account that we have for traffic signals, it's less than $50,000 annually and just allows us to, to, to maintain the signals that we have. Wolcott stated it's important for the city to modernize the traffic system, but without the funds, those upgrades will not be able to happen. The CIP 2040 election takes place on August 27th, but if you have questions over the items on the proposal, send us an email or Facebook message, and you can expect more CIP coverage in the future.